welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today is all about trying out viral TikTok products from Amazon. I have been seeing so many really cool products on TikTok on my For You page, so I thought I would do one of these videos where I try them out and see if they're worth the money. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos like this, I'll have a whole playlist in the eye so you guys can binge watch that after this video. But also, if you're new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see some of these viral TikTok products being put to the test, then without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first viral TikTok product that has been literally all over my For You page for a while now is this right here. I have been seeing this so much on TikTok and for the longest time I've been meaning to try it out, but I've not gotten around to it. So here I am today. As you can see, it is a humidifier. However, it's not just your typical humidifier. It actually is anti gravity. I don't know how this works. It literally blows my mind, but it looks so cool. So I decided to pick up one right here. This cost me, I think, roughly 35 pounds, but I'll have to double check. I mean, as far as humidifier prices go, I would say that's pretty decent, especially because of like the novelty aspect of this. There is definitely a lot of drop shipping kind of sellers and they are trying to charge a small fortune for this. So here it is. This is what the product looks like. Let's just open it up. It does come with a little cable as well well, but this is the base. It is pretty simple to be honest. I mean, I really, really like it. It definitely goes with my interior and it looks kind of futuristic. So I think it's cool. It has a little display right here. And yeah, this is pretty much where the water comes out from and then it gets sucked up into here. Honestly, I have no clue about the science behind this and how this actually works, but let's go plug it in and see if we can get it to work. All right guys, so here is the device. I've just plugged it in and I'm actually really unhappy with where the cable is placed look at it it's at the top why would you do that I mean if anything they should have put the cable at the bottom here where you know it would be a little bit more inconspicuous so that's kind of annoying I've already filled it with water in this compartment right here this just twists off lifts up and then you've got this whole container so I've done that already and now all there's left to do is to press the on and off button oh oh gosh what's happening it's like struggling. Maybe I didn't put enough water in. I'm gonna go put more water in this compartment and see if that helps. Okay, so I've put more water in about this much. I'm now just gonna close it up again. Let's give it another go and see if it works now. Three, two, one. What's going on? I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm pressing the on button. I don't know whether to press it or to hold it, but either way, the same thing is happening. It's just making a weird sound. Oh, something's happening. Come on, come on. Ooh. Okay, I think I managed to get it to work. It's very loud, as you guys can hear. But this is what is happening. Also, I apologize that the light is flashing on camera. That's not actually happening in real life. It's actually just the camera. But yeah, it's got the mist coming out the top and then the droplets at the bottom. I think there was actually something wrong with the internal pump. So I had to kind of fiddle around with that and I think I fixed it. Okay, so now that I have this device in front of me, I can definitely see that the gravity or anti-gravity thing is just an illusion because the water is still dropping from the top here to the bottom here. And I can demonstrate that by literally just putting my finger in the way. As you can see, the water's dropping from the top. It's just the droplets. They make it look like the water is actually gliding upwards into the device. We then have the mist going at the top, which is really nice and cool. So I feel like this would be really nice to kind of put some moisture into your room. But yeah, this is definitely really cool. It took me a hot minute to get it to work, but now that I have, I'm so happy I got this. I'm gonna give this like a nine out of 10. All right, now moving on to the next product, we're going to be trying out quite an expensive gadget that I recently have seen on TikTok. It is this right here. And basically, as you can see, it is a automatic robot window cleaner. In the house that I am currently living in, there is quite a lot of big, big glass doors. And I... 
I'm not the best at cleaning them. I will admit that. So perhaps this little product right here could be a little blessing in disguise for me. I guess we'll see. By the way, when I say this isn't cheap, it was roughly 160 pounds if I remember correctly or thereabouts. Once again, it is a product from Amazon and this is what the box looks like. It has some instructions on the box, but basically you just plug it into a mains and it pretty much just like suction cups onto the glass and then it works its way up. It does actually have a couple of cool features which I read about on the website that it basically doesn't fall down if like the power gets cut off. Oh wow, okay, this is it. Look at it, it's quite big actually. Okay, that is cool. So basically, it like attaches by itself to the glass and then it's got these two massive like pads that pretty much do the cleaning. It also has a really long carabiner on a long string, which I'm guessing is like a safety measure. If you did want to use this outside, you obviously don't want it to fall down by accident and hit someone. It appears that the cable just plugs into here. It's just got one on and off button. So let's go put this to the test. All right, so I've plugged the device into the mains power. It's basically ready to go. So what you can do is you can just spray the glass or you can spray these pads directly, so it's up to you. But then you pretty much just attach it like that. This is a little bit annoying because obviously you should attach this to somewhere, but I don't really have anywhere to hook it on. So it's just gonna have to dangle. But now I'm just gonna press the button. And it's suctioned on. It's pretty loud. I have a remote here, so I don't really know how to use this. Let's just press. Oh my God, that scared me. Okay, so this is the aftermath of the window cleaning. As you can see, it is pretty spotless. I mean, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but yeah, there's not a single smear on this one. However, on this one, I feel like there's a slight smear. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. I think you can kind of see the smear right there in the corner of the window, just here. But I think that could be down to what product I used with it, like the window cleaner itself. All in all though, I feel like my windows look very, very clean now and all I had to do was just sit back and watch this thing do the job for me. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. All right, now moving on to the next item. We're gonna be trying out this one right here, which is basically like a tap for milk or any drink that you may have in the fridge. All you do is you screw this onto any bottle of any size. Apparently it's like universal so it could like go on top of any bottle. And then all you have to do is just press the button and it dispenses your drink like a drink tap which I think is so cool. So I've actually gone ahead and purchased one. This actually came in a set of two which I mean I don't need to but it's good that it's there. This is what the tap looks like. So it has this sort of like what do you call this? seal, I guess, so it can like stretch over any bottle and then make sure it doesn't leak. It then goes down into whatever bottle you're trying to put this in and as you press this, it should dispense whatever you're trying to dispense. I mean, I think these are a cool idea, but I'm a little bit concerned about how you would actually clean this. I guess you could like dispense just clean soapy water through it, but I don't know if that would do the job. So I guess let's try this out in maybe like a juice or something and see if it works. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna be trying out this device next. My first problem that I've already come across is the fact that this part of the device will not fit in any regular size bottle. So this really is made for either a milk kind of bottle or I don't know, something with just a wider opening. Unfortunately, I do not have anything like that. So I'm just gonna have to pop it in this glass of juice right here and see if it works like that. I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't work. This part here is literally just so that it stays on whatever you're trying to dispense it out of. So yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna work fine. All right, so I've put some back 
batteries in here and we're now gonna see if this actually works. Three, two, one. <gasps> wow! Okay, so one thing I have to say, you definitely kind of want to point it down into the glass, otherwise it would just spill over. But apart from that, it works pretty good. It's actually quite fast. Okay, so if you do have a big enough bottle for this thing to get through, then this would be really, really good to just keep in the fridge and you can top up a drink whenever you like. Moving on to the next item, we have a really cool one that I've been wanting to try for a little while and it is this right here. It is basically a cordless portable hair straightener and I honestly love that idea. The thing is, does a little battery on something like this actually get hot enough so that it can power a whole hair straightener and actually straighten your hair properly, I guess? we will find out okay so here's the product it comes in a really cute pink packaging let's open it up Ooh, this is cool look how small it is it literally fits in like a handbag I love that I mean I have to be honest I'm very impressed with like the finish and the quality of it I mean look how cool that looks it's so adorable with the pink but then it also has like rose gold kind of details and accents which I think is cool so this is what the bristles look like they're kind of made of like a really plasticky kind of silicon I guess. I'm gonna have to pop this on charge because that's what it said in the instructions so I'll pop it on charge and I'll see you guys in just a second to try this out. Alright guys so I've been charging this for a little while now. Let's turn it on. The on button is literally just right here so let's see if this is charged. This actually has three settings. I've just set it to the hottest setting it can go and it's starting to make a sound. It kind of sounds like a static energy electricity kind of sound. Can you guys hear it? It doesn't sound safe, let's just say that, but I'm just gonna wait a little while and see if these heat up. Okay, the sound has gone away, but this isn't getting hot. I really do wonder how hot these little bristles will get. I mean, obviously this is just a rechargeable hair straightener. It's not like there's any mains power going to it, so it can't be that hot, surely. It actually has a sticker on the back that says high temperature, do not touch, but right now it's pretty okay to touch still. Okay, so it is getting a lot warmer now to the touch. This is what my hair looks like beforehand. It's got quite a lot of kinks to it. I've just had it up in a ponytail so you can see that like band of where I had my hair tie. So let's see if we can make this look any better. Okay, I don't know that it's done an awful lot, but I mean this side of my hair definitely looks neater than this side, that's for sure. It's still actively getting warmer as I'm using it, so I'm hoping it's gonna give me the results that I'm after. I really want to get rid of this kink here from where I had my hair tie, so let's see if we can make that happen. I would say this is a really nice way to be able to kind of like fix up your hair maybe not straighten to the full extent but definitely fix up your hair on the go and still have very minimal heat on it so it won't damage your hair as much okay so since I've turned this device on it's been about five minutes maybe more now and basically it's still like okay to touch so it's not hot but it's definitely a lot warmer than when I started out let's just carry on and see how hot this can actually get I feel like if your hair is quite frizzy but not so much curly this would actually do a pretty good job at like taming that back okay so this is what my hair is looking like I have to say it definitely looks a lot neater and a lot straighter now it still has that little dip here from the hair tie but it's nowhere near as bad as it was I have got quite a lot of hair in here now which this device has just completely pulled out of my head but to be honest my hair sheds so much anyway so it's not really the fault of this device but yeah all in all this is my best attempt this is the side that I've done and this is the side that I haven't done okay so I've just done a slightly better job at using this tool in the mirror because when I looked in the mirror this side was still very very curly and I mean it's still quite like wavy so it definitely doesn't work at like fully straightening your hair however I would say say that the frizz like I have quite a lot of frizz around my hair I would say that's gone so for that I actually really like this tool however for straightening your hair I mean it's not gonna do as good of a job as an actual hair straightener that you plug into the mains that's for sure but I think it's still a really cool tool that you can take in your handbag and just use on the go so I would say it definitely works to some extent it's not perfect by any means but I'm gonna give this like a 6 out of 10 all right so moving on to the last viral TikTok product I really wanted to try out we're gonna be trying out this as you guys can see this is basically like a really small portable charger for your phone it is literally the size of a key fob for your car it is tiny it's basically like
like a keychain. This is what really drew me in into buying this tiny little power bank because I actually have a trip later on this year and I really wanted to have a means of charging my phone whilst I'm going on walks and hikes. However, I didn't wanna bring like a full on power bank that's really big and clunky. So I thought, why not give this a go? I realized that this tiny little thing is not gonna have a lot of power bank kind of charge on it. This type of thing is meant more for like emergencies. Look how freaking small and cute this is. It comes with a little hook for the keychain and also the charging cable. I'm gonna charge this up real quick and see if it actually works and how much charge this actually has. All right guys, so I've been charging this little device for a couple of hours now. It literally doesn't even have an on and off button at all. It literally just looks like this. And what you do is you slide out this to kind of reveal that little plug-in thing. I think it's quite a smart design. I think it literally just looks like a key fob for your car. So let's see if it will charge my phone. My phone is currently at 13%, so I am in dire need of charging it anyway. So let's plug it in and see if it works. It does work, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna leave this in for a while and see how much it actually charges my phone. But checking now, it's already charged it by 1%, so that's pretty quick. I guess I'm just gonna leave this in my phone for a little while and see how much it actually charges my phone by, and then I'll be right back and let you guys know. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour. As you can see, my phone is now 28% charged from 13. So I would say this is charging it pretty quick considering it's so small and so ditty. I would say this is a really cool tool and I think for emergencies this would be amazing to just carry on your keys with you at all times so I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Alright guys so that was everything for today's video and trying out all these viral TikTok products. I had so much fun trying these out. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Let me know which one of these products you guys liked the most and whether you would try them out for yourself. If you want to see any more videos like this in the future definitely smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.